Antonio de Morga Sanchez Garay was born in 1559 in Seville, a Spanish lawyer and known to be the lieutenant governor in the Philippines. He has a doctorate in canon law and known to be the author of the Successos de las Islas Filipinas. Successos de las Islas Filipinas is known to be one of the first books to tackle Philippine history. It describes the event that happened inside and outside the Philippines in 1493-1603. It was published in Mexico in 1609 and consists of 8 chapters that narrates war, diplomacy, and evangelization of the Philippines, and it is annotated by Dr. Rosa de Sal. The eight chapters in Successos de las Islas Filipinas are known to be the chapter 1 of the first discoveries of the Eastern Islands. The chapter 2 is all about the government of Dr. Francisco de Sande, Chapter 3 is, is consisting of the government of Don Gonzalo Roquillo de Penalosa. Chapter 4 is all about the government of Dr. Santiago de Vera. Chapter 5 is all about the government of Gomez Perez das Marinas. Chapter 6 is all about the government of Don Francisco Tello. Chapter 7 is all about the government of Don Pedro de Acuna and the chapter 8 is all about the account of the Philippine Islands. Hi, good morning. Our lesson to talk about is about pre-colonial Philippines Rizal Annotations of Morga. What is Rizal Morga by the Christian religion? Dr. Morga appears to mean the Roman Catholic, which by fire and sword, he would preserve in its purifier in the Philippines. Jose Rizal, in Europe in 1889, great kingdoms were indeed discovered and conquered in the remote and unknown parts of the world by Spanish ships. It is not fact that like Filipinos were unprotected before the coming of the Spaniards. Morga himself says, Further on the telling of the pirate raids from the south that previous to the Spanish domination the islands had arms and defended themselves. Morga shows that the ancient Filipinos had army and navy with artillery and other implements of warfare. Morga expressions that Spaniards brought war to the gates of the Filipinos in, is, in, is in marked contrast with the word used by subsequent historians whenever recording Spain possessing her herself of a war that she pacified it. Now let's discuss why Rizal chose Morga's work over other contemporary accounts of Philippine history. The first reason was the original book was very rare. Blumentritt notes that the Sucesos de las Islas Filipinas was so rare that the few libraries who have it guarded it with the same care as they would an Inca treasure. Cumensin, in 1977, listed just 25 extant copies of Morgas in libraries and other institutions. The next reason was Morga was a layman, not a religious chronicler. Rizal felt that Morga was more objective in his writings than other religious writers, whose accounts included many miracle stories. Rizal emphasized that Morga's Sucesos was devoid of characteristic deus ex machina interpretation of historical events. The next reason was Morga was more sympathetic to the Indios and not biased to the Spanish side. The last reason being Morga was not only an eyewitness 
but a major actor in the events he narrates. Morga played a major role in Spanish colonial government in the Philippines. Morga was lieutenant governor for 43 years and took command of Spanish ships in a battle against Dutch corsairs. Rizal spoke highly of Morga's integrity as a colonial official, which may have been true of his term of office in Manila. The publication of Rizal's Morga in 1889 clearly divided Rizal's writing into three distinct components. If the Noli Mitangere dealt with the present and El Filibusterismo was to deal with the future, then Rizal's Morga was about the past. In summarizing his works on the Morga, Rizal expresses, To foretell the destiny of a nation, it is necessary to open the book that tells her past. From one historical account, we move on to the next, which is the first voyage around the world as documented by Antonio Figafetta. Antonio Pegaveta was born in Vincenzo, Italy in 1492, and he was an Italian seafarer and a geographer. Pegaveta was actually a chronicler commissioned by the King of Spain to accompany and document a voyage intended to expand the Spanish Empire. The Magellan Elcano circumnavigation was the first voyage around the world in human history. It was a Spanish expedition that sailed from Seville in 1519 the command of Ferdinand Magellan in search of a maritime path from Spain around the world to East Asia across the Pacific Ocean. The Spanish expedition arrived at the islands of Ladorini, presently known as the Marianas Islands, wherein Pigafetta described the people as poor but ingenious and very devish. The amusement of the Ladorinis is to plow the seas with those small boats that they have. According to the science that Ladorinis made, they thought that there were no other people in the world but themselves. On March 18, 1521, they arrived at the Humuno Island, Zamal, or presently known as Samar, wherein nine men came and showed joy and eagerness in seeing them. Magellan realized that the men were reasonable and welcomed them with food, drinks, and gifts. Pigafetta characterized the people as very familiar and friendly. They willingly showed them different islands and the names of these islands. And one of these islands they called the weathering place of good signs, simply because this is where they saw the first signs of gold. On March 25, 1521, they saw two balanghay, a balanghay, a long boat full of people in Mazawa, or Mazawa. Magellan and the king of Balangay exchanged gifts and expressed their desire to become brothers. Magellan preceded a mass by the shore. In March 31, 1591, the first mass in the Philippines was held. Magellan planted a giant cross in our land, became famed Magellan's Cross, which is still preserved at present day. In this event, the king of Cebu was baptized as a Christian. People wished to become Christian through their free will and not because they were forced or intimidated. In April 14, 1521, the Battle of Mactan happened, wherein 49 Spanish explorers fought against 1,500 native fighters. The warriors of Lapu-Lapu, a native chieftain of Mactan Island, overpowered and defeated a Spanish force fighting for Raja Humabon of Cebu, under the command of Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan. In April 27, 1521, Ferdinand Magellan died. end of our presentation. Thank you.